everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my February wrap-up and my March TBR. So in the month of February, I managed to read four books, which is fantastic in my opinion, because I've been kind of in a reading slump, um, just mostly due to school these past few months. But I managed to get out of it finally and read a good amount of books, because I was only reading like one to two books a month while I was in that silly reading slump. Um, and all the books I read this month were fantastic, and I really enjoyed pretty much all of them, and let's just jump right in. So the first three books are actually all by the same author, so I'm just going to knock those off right off the bat. So the first book I read the month of February was Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Demigod Files by Rick Riordan. This is a companion novel to the Percy Jackson series, which I read last May and June and really, really liked. Um, I give this a 5 out of 5 stars, this is actually my first 5 star read of this month. Um, fantastic. It is full of short stories and interviews, and it was just really funny. It gave us a great sense of humor that we all loved in Percy Jackson, if you have read that series. So again, give this five star, over five stars. Highly, highly recommend. So going along the same trend, this book is The Heroes of Olympus, The Demigod Diaries, also by Rick Riordan. Uh, this is a companion novel to the Heroes of Olympus series, which is a spin-off of Percy Jackson focusing on Roman mythology, where it has Percy Jackson focused on Greek mythology. It gives us a 5 out of 5 stars as well. Really, really liked it. Really funny. I would actually recommend, if you guys are interested in picking up this book, to read the first book of Heroes of Olympus first, because um, this does kind of give away spoilers for Heroes of Olympus. Um, when I picked it up, my cousin had told me to read this first before I read Heroes of Olympus. Um, but now that I think about it, I should probably should have read the first book first. But anyways, again, give us a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book I'm going to talk about is Heroes of Olympus book 1, The uh, Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I give us a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Again, this focuses on role mythology, but we have still have that aspect of Percy Jackson we all love. It has some Percy Jackson characters in it. We still go to Camp Half-Blood, just focusing on a different set of main characters, which I really, really liked. And again, I give us a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And the last book I read in the month of February was The Alchemist of Loom by Lise Kova. I gave this book actually a 2 out of 5 stars. Surprisingly, I did not DNF it as close as I came to. Um, I was just not a fan of this book. I really did like the writing style, but that's pretty much it. I actually kind of find this book really confusing and boring, which never happens to me when I read books. Um... But I have heard fantastic things about Elise Koba's other books, so I might check those out. And actually, the ending of this book kind of makes me want to continue on with the series. I'm not sure. Um, but again, I give this a 2 out of 5 stars. It just wasn't for me. So that's everything I read in the month of February. And then in the month of March, I have a pretty good-sized TBR. I have a total of 8 books I want to read this month. Some of them are review books. Um, so... I think I have three of those on this list, and I just want to get those knocked off right off the bat so I can get those up on my blog and on here or on YouTube for the authors to hear my thoughts and see what they think. So the first book I have here is Carve the Mark by Ron Karath. This is Ron Karath's uh, science fiction debut. Divergent was obviously her dystopian debut. I love the Divergent books, even though I haven't read Allegiant yet. Um, and I've heard controversial things about this book. I, I, I'm really interested in reading it because this is actually one of my most anticipated releases of this year. Um, so it, despite all the factors that surround it, I know there's some things about race in this a lot of people don't like. I still do want to read it again because it was one of my most anticipated reads of this year. The next book I'm going to talk about and the next couple of books I'm going to talk about are all review books. So the first book is Vile Spark by Leah Devlin. This book is a historical fiction novel surrounding pirates, which I've never read a book about pirates before, so I think this would be a very interesting read. I'm always looking for more historical fiction books to read, so um, I've been kind of on a historical kick since I read Outlander. Um, so definitely going to check this out. The next book again was sent to me for review by the author, and that is Focusing Emptiness, A Mythopoetic poetic Journey to the Last Child by Michael P. Staples. Again, sent to me for review by the author. This is a non-fiction book. However, from what I heard when the author contacted me about reading it, it reads like a fiction novel, which I think is really cool. It has kind of a mystery and thriller aspect to it, which that sounds really interesting to me, so I'm definitely, definitely going to check this out. And the last review book I have on my list for this month is the one I am actually currently reading, and this book is Remnants, The Odyssey Home by Scott Kaufman. And this is a book that is a, actually a retelling of The Odyssey by Homer, which I actually never read, but I get the basic, basic premise of it. And it's a historical fiction novel. It follows our main character, Betsy, at the beginning of the book. She has just lost her brother in the Vietnam War. And I'm only about 20... 
29, 30 pages into it, so I'm not very far into it, but I'm really liking it so far because I've never read a book that takes place around the time of the Vietnam War. Um, and again, I've never read The Odyssey, but I do what really and I really am interested in it, so hopefully this will give me more of an idea of what the actual original work is based off of, or is um, what more of what the Odyssey was about. The next book I have on my list is The Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. If you guys have seen my videos for a while now, you know I read Throne of Glass um, a few months ago and I really, really liked it. Um, I gave all the books, pretty much all the books, 5 out of 5 stars. One of my favorite reads of last year, and this is uh, Sarah J. Maas's um, other series, which focuses on retelling. So this first book is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, I believe. And then the second book is a Hades and Persephone retelling, which is really, really cool. And the third book comes out in May. So I need to get these books off the cross off my list so I can read the third book when it comes out. And I'm looking forward to it because I love Beauty and the Beast. I really love Hades and Persephone. So hopefully I'll enjoy these books as well. The next book is a book I met the author by, but it wasn't for this book, it was for another book. That book is In Real Life, My Journey into a Pixelated World by Joey Graceffa. This book is a memoir of the YouTuber Joey Graceffa, which I love Joey Graceffa's videos. I think they're hysterical. Um, again, this is a memoir. I met him back in October, if you guys have seen that video, uh, for his book, which is called Children of Eden, which is a dystopian book. I have yet to read that as well, um, but I want to get that snog off out first and he is actually from Massachusetts which is where I'm from. He lives about he actually grew up about an hour away from me which is really funny. Um and hopefully I'll enjoy this book. It has his sense of humor that I love in his videos. And the last two books are all also by the same author and those are Allegiant and Four, both by Veronica Roth. These are the third book in the novellas to the Divergent book uh Diver Divergent series excuse me. And I have Yet to read Allegiant because I've been kind of putting it off for a few months because I don't want this trilogy to end because I've loved Divergent and Insurgent. And then uh, Four, which is the novellas, are told for, uh, Four's perspective, which I love Four. So I've heard mixed reviews about Allegiant. I'm not sure about Four because I really haven't read any reviews about that. Um, but hopefully I'll like them both. And that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I will sure have all my social media links linked down below if you guys would like to be friends with me on any of my social media. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. My username is Evil Queen Books on all of them. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to subscribe if you like this video. And I'll see you guys on Friday for another video. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!